members from The Nine performing in a couple of minutes. So The Nine is called The Nine, the choir that sings at the 9 p.m. mass on Sundays over at Madonna della Strada. There are prepared a piece tonight highlighting beauty and dissonance. So performing Gabriel's oboe from the movie The Mission, let us welcome Cody, Becky, Owen, Julia, Connor, JR, and Kelly from The Nine. something to resolve. You're kind of waiting for that note or that pitch to kind of fall into place. And this song doesn't necessarily have like obscure notes that are eerie of sorts, but there are definitely notes that are suspended in nature that kind of let you wait until it gets to the end of the song. And uh, I, I chose this piece because um, we were asked um, to kind of go through and find something that like highlights our instruments in a way. Um, so Becky and Julie here are amazing at what they do with the flute and the, the violin. Um, and this piece also, uh, in case you don't know what the mission is, it's about um, some Jesuits that uh, come along <laughs> and they start a mission in Latin America and they must face uh, a lot of uh, trials and obstacles in their way to help the natives of the area, uh, especially as there's like local uh, war and slavery and then decide how to help them. And this, this piece, I think, kind of fulfills beauty and soften conflict just as notes kind of dictate, you know, clashing. Um, and yeah, that's, that's kind of why I thought it was a great piece. There's multiple reasons. Oh, awesome, thanks. Do it, does anyone else have any questions about the nine or the piece in general? How would you describe that sort of clashing, the longing, distant beauty, all of you in your lives, in your day to day? That's a little deep. <laughs> so uh, I don't know about my day to day, but as we've <laughs> as as we've uh, prepared this piece, um, I can't speak for everybody here, but the things that we normally play at the nine, um, they 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 follow a very similar kind of um, progression of chords, and uh, they're a similar type of music. Um, they resolve very quickly um, because when we're when we're doing things that are celebratory uh, over at Madonna. We want things to resolve because that's what sounds nice to our ears. But um, this was very different. Uh, maybe Kelly.
Ali and Cody know a little more, but um, it was hard for me to, to play this piece that took so long to resolve, if that makes sense. Um, it really holds through until the very end, uh, until we get that satisfying final chord. Um, so that was, that was a little difficult for me while we were preparing this. You're all musicians. Do you, um, <laughs> do you find, how do you find, would you say that you find beauty for your music? I don't know how long you guys have been playing or how long you've been you know, engaging with your instruments, but where do you find beauty in song? Where do you find beauty in your music? Um, I think for me, I think what's really unique about music is like, it's something that like allows people to connect. So like, I've never met Adele. I haven't been through like 90% of what Adele like has been through. <laughs> but like when she's singing about all of her like angsty feelings, I'm like, me too. Um, and like, just that connection with like someone you've never met. Um, and like that idea that like the human experience can be felt both like any instrumental pieces like can create a lot of like beauty and dissonance in one single song. Like if you listen to an 11 minute instrumental piece, there's a lot in it. And like for me being a musician, like being able to like make music and like put my own like feeling into a song, like whether it's happy or sad or whatever, it's just like building that human connection with people that I will never meet or like people who like don't, aren't here anymore. So it's just like kind of furthering the human being thing. <laughs> Connection, beauty connection. Thank you so much. Let's give it up for the Nile Marquette.